Welcome back to our channel and to our series, How to Make $1 Million in Agri-Commodity Trading. It's great to have you with us again as we continue exploring the ins and outs of this incredible industry. But today, we're going to take a step back from the hustle and bustle of making money and focus on something even more important, something that underpins everything we do in this business, nature. The greatest threat to our business today isn't competition or market fluctuations, it's climate change. When there's a drought, a hurricane, or any natural disaster, our sector is the first to feel the impact. Crops fail, supply chains are disrupted, and entire communities can be devastated. Climate change isn't just a future problem, it's happening now, and it's already affecting agri-commodity trading around the world. As traders and business people, we have a responsibility to acknowledge this reality and take action. Because if we don't, the very industry we're trying to succeed in could be at risk of disappearing. It's not just about the immediate losses we face when disaster strikes, it's about the long-term viability of our business. If climate change continues unchecked, the stability and predictability that we rely on in this industry could be lost forever. So, what can we do about it? One of the most effective ways to protect our business and the planet is by adopting sustainable practices. Sustainable agriculture isn't just a trend, it's a necessity for the future of agri-commodity trading. Sustainable practices help us reduce our impact on the environment, conserve resources, and build resilience against the effects of climate change. Whether it's using water more efficiently, rotating crops to maintain soil health, or minimizing the use of harmful chemicals, every step we take towards sustainability is a step towards securing the future of our business. By embracing sustainability, we're not just protecting nature, we're also creating a more stable and reliable foundation for our businesses. When we take care of the land, it takes care of us. Getting involved in environmental conservation, but our responsibility doesn't end with our own practices. We need to get involved in broader efforts to combat climate change and protect the environment. Whether it's through supporting conservation projects, advocating for sustainable policies, or simply educating others about the importance of protecting our planet, we all have a role to play. It's easy to feel like we're just one person in a vast world, but collective action can make a huge difference. Imagine the impact if every business in the agri-commodity sector committed to reducing their carbon footprint and supporting environmental causes. Together, we could drive real change. When we get involved in conservation efforts, we're not just helping the planet, we're also protecting our own livelihoods. After all, a healthy planet means a healthy business. The connection between profit and environmental responsibility. Some might worry that focusing on sustainability and environmental responsibility could hurt profits, but the truth is it's quite the opposite. Businesses that prioritize sustainability often find that they're more resilient, more efficient, and more appealing to consumers who care about the planet. Think about it, when you adopt sustainable practices, you're not just reducing your environmental impact, you're also cutting costs, improving your brand reputation, and opening up new opportunities in the market. Consumers today are increasingly looking for products that are ethically sourced and environmentally friendly. By aligning your business with these values, you're positioning yourself for long-term success. In our quest to make $1 million, we must remember that profits and environmental responsibility aren't mutually exclusive. In fact, they go hand in hand. Steps you can take today to protect nature and your business. So, what can you do today to start making a difference? Here are a few steps you can take to protect nature and secure the future of your business. First, look at your current operations and identify areas where you can reduce waste, conserve energy, and minimize your environmental footprint. Simple changes like switching to renewable energy sources or optimizing your supply chain for efficiency can have a big impact. Second, choose your suppliers carefully. Work with those who prioritize sustainability and ethical practices. By supporting sustainable suppliers, you're encouraging better practices across the industry. Third, get involved in your community. Support local environmental initiatives, educate others about the importance of sustainability, and advocate for policies that protect the environment. Finally, make sustainability a core part of your business strategy. Set goals, track your progress, and share your commitment with your customers. Let them know that by choosing your products, they're supporting a business that cares about the planet. 
These steps may seem small, but when we all do our part the collective impact can be enormous. And remember, protecting the environment isn't just the right thing to do, it's also good business. As we continue our journey to make $1 million in agri-commodity trading, let's never forget the importance of caring for our planet. Our business relies on the Earth, and it's our responsibility to protect it. Climate change is a real and growing threat, but by taking action today, we can safeguard our future and continue to thrive. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode in our series. And please take a moment to think about how you can contribute to the fight against climate change. Together, we can make a difference. See you next time.